a reading from the Gospel of John. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly, I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and in fact, will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. This is truly one of my most favorite scripture passages. It's also one of the the passages from the Bible that gives me the most stress and anxiety. It's in this passage that the Lord promises us of the place prepared for us, a place in the Father's house. If you knew that you had a place waiting for you in your father's house. Two things would happen. One, you wouldn't be worried about tomorrow because you know that tomorrow would take care of itself, that the Lord would be there, that the future, that tomorrow is in God's hands. You wouldn't have anxiety about the future. What would that allow you to do? That would allow you to do whatever you're doing right now. As long as it's not sin, it would allow you to do it with your whole heart. That's what it means to be a saint. To do what you're doing right now with everything that you've got. And in order to do everything that you're doing right now with your whole heart, that's only possible if you know and trust and believe that God will take care of tomorrow. Your only concern is right now. That's what this gospel passage is about. Jesus says, Very truly I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and in fact will do greater works than these, 
because I am going to the Father. Jesus himself says that you and I will do even greater things than he did in this earth if we believe in him with our whole heart. And that means that we believe that he has a place prepared for us in the Father's house. And that gives us the freedom to live today with our whole heart, with everything that we've got. This gospel is about being a saint. Very truly, I tell you, the one who believes in me will do the works that I do and in fact will do greater works than these because I am going to the Father. There is a place prepared for you in heaven and that gives you the freedom to live today with everything you've got for the glory of God.